Bonjour friends and happy French Friday to you. Happy fall to you as well friends. I am excited to share some fall content with you today. Now that I'm back from France, I absolutely love this time of year. I got married in the fall, so that tells you something, right? How much I love this time of year because I just love it when the weather starts cooling off and we get to uh, enjoy some cooler weather. And I think uh, the leaves, when they start turning, they look so pretty. So I love this time of year and I hope you'll enjoy my fall haul that I have to share with you today and come back and see me again real soon because I am going to be sharing my fall home tour with you soon as well. By the way, friends, uh, if you haven't had a chance to check out our trip through France and traveling France uh, videos that I've shared with you, please check those out. I think you'll really enjoy them. We had an amazing time on our trip and I think you'll enjoy traveling along with us. Okay, friends, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the haul video now. Okay, friends, I thought I would just start with sharing the things that I picked up from Hobby Lobby first. So the first items I got was this uh, really pretty small little fall wreath. I love the color of the leaves on here. And it is the perfect size to like hang on a little cabinet doors or uh, if you just want to put it around a candle it's the perfect size for that it is smaller and i love that it's smaller because i always need little small arrays for different things and the original price was 12.99 and i got this on sale of course i always wait for things to go on sale at hobby lobby before purchasing them and uh, like i said i got two of these so i love the colors though on here so pretty and then I picked up this, which is great for fall or winter. And uh, I'm trying to buy mostly just pillow covers now because I don't have room to store large pillows. And uh, so this is just easier for me to store the pillow covers away in my linen closet when I'm done using them. And that was $17.99. Uh, of course, I waited for this to go on sale half off. And then... I did buy a pillow, it's not a pillow cover, but uh, I was looking last year for a pillow that had like a pillow or pillow cover that had velvet pumpkins on it and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I was so excited when I saw this one at Hobby Lobby because I love decorating with velvet uh, pumpkins and it also has this really pretty velvet trim on either side of the pillow. And uh, this is gonna go great in my bedroom and uh, with, it just goes so nicely because my flooring is that gray herringbone wood flooring and it looks so pretty in there and then you know what my bedspread looks like with the black and white uh, ticking striped and then I have uh, the black I'm sorry not black and white but black and cream and I also have the black and cream colored uh, toile in there as well with it so it's it looks really pretty I've already tried it out of course and uh, it's gonna be so pretty in there and then um, these two pillows back here are actually were pillow covers that I found at Hobby Lobby. But I put down inserts, down feather inserts in them already just to, um, to show you what it looks like. And of course I couldn't wait. I've already had them on my sofa. So um, the green one is uh, was a pillow cover and it came in a cover just like this. And it was um, in the same section at Hobby Lobby as this one. And then the gather together one with the pumpkins and the gourds uh, was actually with the fall items. And uh, that one I also got on sale. I got both of them half off. And so this is a really pretty um, green velvet. And I think it's pretty with this because it brings out the green leaves in this one. And so I got two of those pillow covers and then just one of those so that I could put that in the middle of my sofa and then one of these on either side at each end of the sofa. So I think um, those are really pretty and then I will be able to store those away at the end of the fall season in my linen closet. Oh, I wanted to mention too that I like this one because it had the aqua blue color, which you know I have in my buffet here in the dining room. And so it just kind of ties that aqua blue color together uh, with the other blue colors that I have going on in my home. So just kind of pulls that color, 
pulls it all together. So I really liked that it had that color pumpkin on the pillow cover. And then the last thing I picked up at Hobby Lobby was this beautiful tablecloth. And I love the linen fabric. I love the neutral color. It goes really nicely with my table runner I have here on the table already. And I just love the ruffle around the whole edge of it. It's going to be beautiful on my dining room table for fall. And I'm sorry, I already took it out of the packaging, so I don't remember the price on this, but I did get it on sale at Hobby Lobby. I almost totally forgot to share these little fall trees with you. And I picked up two of these at Hobby Lobby because I wanted them for my two blue buckets to go inside of there by my fireplace in the living room. So you're getting a little sneak peek here of what that looks like. But I thought those would be really pretty for fall. And I love the color of these leaves on here too. So I love those. Okay, the next items I'm gonna share are from Ross. I picked up this really pretty green velvet pumpkin for $5.99 at Ross and I uh, just thought that color was really pretty. So I wanted to add a little bit touches of that green in my bedroom for fall. So I think that would be really pretty. And then I also picked up this uh, gold pumpkin and it's got wood at the base and it was $6.99 for that. And I thought this might be kind of cute in my kitchen possibly is where I'm thinking about putting that. And then this in my bedroom to add a little pop of green in the bedroom along with this uh, blanket, this throw blanket uh, that's so soft. And I think the color looks so pretty with that pumpkin. And so having this little cozy, soft, warm blanket at the bottom of the bed and then having um, touches of this green in the bedroom, I think it's gonna be really pretty. While we're talking about the decor in my bedroom, I thought I might as well share this pumpkin with you at the same time, even though it's not from Ross. This one was priced a little bit higher at $12 uh, because it does have the real pumpkin stem on here. And I just picked this up at a shop that I like to go to. Love this uh, gray velvet, and I was thinking it would be so pretty with the gray velvet pumpkins on the pillow here. So. When I saw that, I had to get it, and I'm going to put uh, these two together, and I think they're going to be really cute in the bedroom for fall. Okay, the next items I want to share with you are from TJ Maxx, and uh, the first thing is this beautiful table runner, and it has the neutral color pumpkin and the green and then the blue. So it's like all my colors I'm trying to pull together uh, for this fall. And uh, I picked that one up, like I said, TJ Maxx. And I can't remember how much it was. I think it was uh, $12.99 for that one. And I also think it will go so pretty with this tablecloth that I got because let me hold it up here to it but this color this like light tan color matches the light tan and that color of the tablecloth so it's just gonna go I think so pretty together I think I'm I'm just gonna layer this table runner on top of the tablecloth that I got and I think it'll be really pretty layered so uh, and then the next thing I picked up was this French soap and uh, I love to use different seasonal soaps around my home, in the kitchen or in my bathrooms and stuff like that. So, and especially when I find this French um, milled soap, I always like to pick that up. And this one was smells so good. It's the pumpkin spice, and it was $4.99 at TJ Maxx. It's a really good size soap, so it has a lot of soap for that. And um, I love that it was made in France. The next item I picked up was this really cute little, um, I guess it would be called a little cake stand. It's like a smaller one. It's such a cute size. Or you could use it as a riser. And that was $9.99 at TJ Maxx. 
and I love this soft blue color. Um, it's just, it, it's that really pretty soft blue that's even in the table runner that I just shared with you. And so I like to call it my French blue is what I like to call it. <laughs> and so that is just gonna be so pretty together. I found this super long fall garland at Home Goods. I wanted to just lay it out on the floor because I knew there was no way that I was gonna be able to get this whole thing on camera. It's so long. So there it is. I think it's so pretty. I love the wheat in this garland. And the reason why I really wanted a long one is because I want this to go on top of my very large, long TV cabinet that's in our living room. And so I think this is going to be perfect for that. And it will just add a touch of fall on top of the cabinet. Okay, the next items I want to share with you are from a shop I like to go to, and it's called Lily Fields. I know I've shared her shop with you before, and she has such a cute shop. I, I think um, I was at an outdoor like uh, vintage market where I talked about her shop, and she was set up there selling. So um, I'll have to maybe take you on a tour of her shop one of these days. But um, I picked this up at her store, and I love that it was made in France. And of course, I love uh, these type of white dishes. You know, I collect the ironstone dishes, so I thought it was so pretty. And uh, it came with this large plate on the bottom here. And she said she had broke the lid for it. So unfortunately, I don't have the lid that goes with it, but I still thought that this was so pretty. And I love the gold um, stripe, striping along the whole thing that goes all the way around and I just thought this was so pretty so I'm going to use it regardless of it missing its lid I just thought um, so pretty and of course it helps it was made in France right <laughs> you guys know I have a love for all things French <laughs> so moving on though the next item I got at Lily Fields was this beautiful chunky cozy blanket i just love it it's so thick and chunky and just love the texture it's going to bring um i'm not sure if i'm going to use it um for fall or if i'm going to save it for winter but uh, we'll have to wait and see if i use it in my living room or the bedroom or something but um we'll see i just had to get it i thought it was so pretty and the blanket was uh, $28.95 and I think I forgot to tell you the price on the dishes the set was uh, I think I believe it was $15 I want to say for the set so I thought that was a really good price for that the last thing that I got from Lily Fields was this silhouettes picture and it is a cross stitch I believe that's what it's called and uh, what was neat too about it is that it had the little history here on the back whoops it's hard to do it with one hand sorry and um, let me try to open it here with one hand <laughs> so I can show you it's really neat that they thought somebody thought to attach it so that it would stay with the piece so you know the history on it so that was a really good idea I thought and so it was a cross stitch done by Doris Jo Steffens, later Sweeney of Ohio, USA. A class assignment during first decade of 1900th century by Doris, whose father, Joe Steffens, was mayor of the town in which they lived. Her maternal grandfather immigrated his family, Hirsch, from Germany. She grew up and married William Sweeney, who worked in the federal judiciary system. She was a brilliant woman who graduated uh, from law school. So not to practice law, but to fit into Washington, D.C. society. So that is really neat um, to have the history with this piece, I thought. So really cool, but I'm not going to try to put that back on one-handed. But yeah, I just you can tell how old and aged this piece is. So it's just really neat. It does have a little bit of some kind of a stain, maybe a water stain or something on the corner, but just adds to the character of the piece and uh, shows its age. So really neat, I think. 
I may end up putting this in my bedroom because it would go with my black and cream colors that I have in there, or I may end up selling it. I'm not sure yet, so you have to wait and see, but uh, I just thought it was a really neat piece. I've been wanting to find some old silhouettes pictures, but uh, this was a little bit different. I didn't expect to find the cross stitch uh, kind. I was actually looking for the actual uh, cutout, like silhouette cutout uh, old pictures. So, but this is, I thought this was really neat too. Okay guys, it's actually the next day. I decided to just wait uh, to film because uh, I had gotten a few interruptions yesterday while I was filming, so it got dark quite quickly on me while I was filming and I felt like the lighting just wasn't as good. So next day, and I'm gonna finish filming here, and I actually, I cleaned the glass on that because it had a few spots, so it looks much better. So I wanted to show that to you again. And so that's all clean now, so that looks much better. There was some um, dirty spots on the glass on the picture. So anyway, let's go ahead and continue. Okay, these next pictures I found, I just love these because they remind me of just the French countryside is what they remind me of here. And um, also just love these types of little farm scenes and uh, the wheat here in this picture. These are so cute, they're so little, such a small little size, they're adorable. And uh, I found these at what I like to call my junk store, my junk thrift store. It's There's no name on it on the store, so I don't know what else to call it, but that's what I call it. I've talked about it before, and I always find such great stuff there and uh, at usually really good prices too. These were $5 each. And I just love these for fall. I think they are going to be so pretty in um, a nice vin fall vignette. Okay, these next few items that I'm going to share with you, these copper items, they are from an antique store, actually uh, where I have a booth space. And actually I have two different booth spaces, two different stores. So I will share these items with you. So for the first um, store, the vintage store where I have things uh, in a booth where I sell my things. Uh, it's always dangerous to go in because when you go to take new stuff into your booth space, you usually will find something that you want to buy yourself. So I found these um, really neat copper, um, I'm gonna call them, it's not really a copper pan, it's more like a maybe like a scoop or something, I don't know what to call it. Uh, and this one's also kind of just like a big scoop type spoon ladle and um but i love the copper on these and then the little wooden handle on the ends here with the little um metal hanger that you could actually hang these so i thought these were really neat and so i picked these up and then and i can't remember the exact price on these because at the store they usually take off the prices and um keep the tags uh for the vendor to uh, know what um, they have sold. So this one still has the little tag on it though. This was from the other shop where I have my things, where I sell in a different booth space. And uh, this was $12. It says it's a copper vase. So I don't know, I guess you could use it as a vase, but I'm not sure if I will use it for that. Um, but I just thought this was really neat. Love the brass on the copper as well. The has the brass on the bottom and on the two little handles. So I just love copper and especially, um, I think it's so pretty at fall time. Okay, one more copper piece here to share with you. And I love this double boiler pan and it also has the brass handles on this piece as well and on top here and the little knob and on the side here so love this it's really nice and the price is not on this one anymore either i want to say it was around 30 ish something 
it was a little bit higher um, priced, but I just think it is a beautiful copper pan. So I love that. Okay, so the best of these things that I'm gonna share with you now, I have thrifted and I love this metal fleur-de-lis with the crystals. And it actually looks like it's copper with the white wash kind of distressed look, um, painted look to it. So thought this was really neat. So it can hang here with the ribbon. I actually have one very similar to this, so I might be uh, probably be selling this one. The next thing I want to share with you is this gold leaf dish. I think this is so pretty. It was $1.99. And uh, you could even put this on a little easel to decorate with uh, for fall if you didn't want to just have it sitting on a table like this. And this was originally from Home Goods. Not sure how much it was originally for, but the price is ripped off. But I paid $1.99 for that. This next piece I found at the thrift store is so cute. It's this little, small uh, wooden cutting board, and it's in the shape of a pumpkin. So I thought that would be so cute for fall. And it was only 99 cents, so I couldn't pass that up. Well, these are not fall, but I thought I would just share them with you anyways, because I did thrift them, and I thought while I was sharing my other thrifted items, I would share these with you as well. So I just love red and white transferware dishes, as you guys know already by the looks of my French country hutch. I have a lot of these pieces in there. And uh, this one is from Johnson Brothers, England. And it was only 99 cents, so I thought that was a great price for this bowl. And I think these are just so pretty. So I had to get them. And I also got the matching little plate and it was 99 cents. I only saw these two pieces there that were matching. So I picked those up, but what a great price on those two, I thought, so I had to get those. And I will probably be reselling them because I do have quite a bit in my own personal collection already of those style of dishes. And I, then I found this and I thought this was so pretty for fall and uh, especially for Thanksgiving. And it was also only 99 cents. Love the turkey on this one. So definitely will be decorating with this. Probably putting it on an easel or, or a, a plate holder or something to uh, display it. And uh, this was adapted from original copper engravings. So that's really neat. Hmm, it's interesting. I love these uh, little brass containers whenever I see these or copper. I like to get them um, because you can do so many different things with them. This one has such cute little feet on the bottom too. So cute. And uh, I love to put like little plants in them or um, you can, like I said, you can use them for so many different things. And this one you could actually put a cute small pumpkin in it. It looks so cute for fall, or um, this one is actually like a little pumpkin and a plant, so you could put a plant in it, and I think that would be really cute with a plant, a small plant in there, or um, you could even use it for your little dish brush or something, you know, it can hold so many different things, so containers can be used in so many different ways, so it's so nice. And this was uh, $3.99 for that. The next items that I thrifted were these really neat glass and um, has these glass inserts. And then it also has like the wicker basket look on the outside here. And I think this was probably originally a candle. I'm not sure, but this was this would be great to use to uh, put a candle inside of there. You could also do some kind of like floral little arrangement in these, but uh, I picked up both of these for $1.99, and uh, they definitely say French country to me, and I just thought they were really neat, so I can probably use them, um, like I said, to put a candle in here, or uh, you could even do some kind of floral arrangement 
or you could even put like a little plant in there as well. That would be cute. So there's so many different things you could do with those. If you hear my little snoring baby, it's because she loves to lay right by my feet while I'm doing <laughs> my video. So she likes to just be right beside me and then she falls asleep and then she's snoring in my videos. So <laughs> if you hear that, it's just little Jasmine and she's got her costume on already, her little Chewbacca costume. She's ready for Halloween. I found this copper pot at the thrift store for $3.99. It's a little uh, weathered and it's definitely been used a lot, you can tell. <laughs> and I might be able to clean it up, but the inside is, looks really good condition. It's just the outside looks a little more rustic, but that's okay. I think it uh, looks neat when it's more weathered looking like that. Uh, probably could be shined up, but I do like the rustic look of um, this copper piece. I was so excited to find these beautiful candle holders at the thrift store. I could not believe it. So I loved the color of the weathered looking raw wood look of these uh, they're so cool and um, I found the smallest one I got that one for $3.99 and then the middle sized medium one here let's see I got that one for $3.99 as well and then the largest one was $4.99 and these are not fall but let me show you they will turn into fall when you add pumpkins so I'll be right back let me grab my pumpkins okay so here was here's what they look like with the pumpkins now on them and it's instantly fall decor right <laughs> so I love these um, pumpkins that have the holes. Well, I poked a little hole in them, but to set them on there so you can do that. You can just poke a little hole through the paper or you can just completely take the paper, the sticker off the bottom and it already has the, the hole there too. So if you have pumpkins like this and you have candle holders like this, you can just set them on there easily like that. Let me Take that sticker off because this is hard to do one-handed but uh, these were from the Dollar Tree store that I've had for a while so I can't remember if I bought them like this I think I might have painted the gold part to match my little gold one here because this was already gold and this was from um, Target dollar spot like I said I've had these for a little while now they were not from this year but they might have had some again I'm sure this year selling some like those but I just think that looks so cute for fall. And uh, instead of putting candles on there, you can just add little pumpkins if you'd like to. So that's just an idea for you. I was really excited to find these uh, really neat charger plates at the thrift store because there was a set of six of them. And so that was perfect. And I loved the, that they're metal and they are not the plastic ones. So love that and I love the Fleur de Lis uh, design on them as well as this diamond shaped uh, design here on them and I paid let's see um, let's see $1.99 each for these but I thought that was worth it because they are metal they're not the plastic ones like I said so that's exactly what I was looking for and they kind of have that coppery color in them, but also have a darker um, patina to them as well um, with kind of an aged look to them. So thought these were really neat and I'm going to use these um, for um, fall and for uh, our Thanksgiving dinner as well. And then so that leads me into next the dishes that I want to share with you that I will be using. I found a whole set of dishes at the Goodwill uh, with this wheat pattern on them and that's exactly what I was looking for for this year. I wanted to find some like this for fall 
So I uh, found these at the thrift store, so that was perfect. And they were 99 cents each. And I love the gold uh, on the wheat and then the golden little trim around the edge of the plate as well. And um, I think, let me show you the back side here. The Harmony House Fine China made in Japan. The golden wheat is the pattern. And let me shut the camera off so I can bring out a few of these dishes. I don't want to be rattling the plastic bags too loudly on camera here for you. Okay, so I got six of the large plates. And then I also found the creamer and the sugar for 99 cents each. And then I also got six of the little teacups and six of the little saucers. And then I also got six of the smaller plate to go on top of the larger plates here. So that will be nice when I set the table. I can set the smaller one on top like that. And then I also found one larger kind of uh, oval platter. So that is what I got with this set. And so, yeah, I was so excited to find that for fall. I think it'll be really pretty. Oh, let me show you what the plates look like on the charger plates. Okay, so here's what the plates look like on top of the charger. I think that looks really pretty. And the darker color in the charger plate, it kind of brings out the darker colors in the wheat. So yeah, I'm really happy with how that looks. Okay, so for my last thrifted items here, I found five of these. I had found one of these before and I didn't know what it was. And um, my one of my subscribers had left me a message telling me that these were used for placemats and that they are from England. So uh, I was excited to learn about that because I had no idea what it was when I bought it. I just really liked it. So um, I have a set of five of these and the it says the belt in Stilton here at the bottom. And I love the scene on these placemats. Um, they're, they have all different kinds because the one I bought before was different than this one. So um, they are really neat and uh, vintage um, as well. So I will be listing this set of five on my online store. So you'll have to check it out. And uh, I will leave the link for my online store in the description box below. So you can check it out if you'd like to. And I will also leave my Instagram so you can follow me over on Instagram as well. I have one more item uh, that I thrifted. I almost totally forgot about it, but I picked up this hat to use for decor purposes. And I was thinking about um, possibly hanging it maybe in my bedroom somewhere. It would be cute hanging like on a peg rack or on the wall or even on a little hat stand or something. And I was thinking my bedroom because I have black in my bedroom and I like this little, this black ribbon that was going around the hat here. And so, yeah, I thought that was really cute. So I picked that up uh, just to decorate with. So here's my other baby, Penny. My other little Yorkie. And her little hood doesn't want to stay up, but she's got her little sheep costume on. She looks so cute. She matches my little logo uh, with the sheep on my logo, <laughs> the French farmhouse flare sheep. She's our little mascot, sheep mascot. <laughs> she loves being in mommy's videos. She usually shows up in my videos and she's a cutie patootie. Ah, oh, Penny, oh baby, yeah, yeah. Okay, friends, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite item was that I shared with you today. And don't forget to go check out my new online store. I will leave the link for that below in the description box. 
And I will also leave my Instagram in the description box so that you can check that out as well and follow me on there. And I hope that you all have a beautiful and blessed weekend. I will be sharing, like I said, my fall home tour soon. So come back and see me again real soon. And until then, friends, I will see you in the next one. Au revoir.